Hey everyone, welcome back to the Starship Lightbreaker, the spaceship outfitted with the means to break the speed of light in every conceivable way. Today, we're back to the Faster Than Light series to talk about the third item on the list, hyperspace. Now at first glance, hyperspace might seem just like warp drive with a different label, but it's actually different at a fundamental level. Hyperspace is the ability to travel at a right angle to our 3D universe through a fourth dimension and take a shortcut to the other side of the galaxy. Now the first thing you might ask is, how is this different from warp drive? Or how is this different from wormholes? And the reason this is different is because hyperspace has four or more dimensions, whereas although warp drive and wormholes might seem like they have more dimensions and it might be easy to conceptualize them with more dimensions, warp drive and wormholes actually only use three dimensions. They just have curved space time. Warp drive is curving space around a ship so that it pulls the space the ship is sitting in along with it. And a wormhole is a topological feature of the universe. We may imagine it has to go through a fourth dimension in order to go around all the rest of the universe, but really it can be described completely in just three dimensions. Now you might ask, four dimensions? How can that be possible? We got left, right, we got up, down, we got forward and backward. How can you have another direction that is perpendicular to all of these? The answer is the math works. And the reason we find it so hard to conceptualize is because we live in a three dimensional universe. However, with practice and experience and visual aids, it is possible to visualize four dimensions. And I plan to do a whole video on that someday. For now, let's just look at a shape called a tesseract, which is the four dimensional analog of a cube. Just like a cube is six squares attached edge to edge, a tesseract is made up of eight cubes where every face is touching the face of another cube and every edge is touching the edges of other cubes and every corner is touching the corners of other cubes. So if you look at this projection of a tesseract into 3D space, you can see it has eight cubes, the outer cube, the inner cube, and then the six joining every face of the outer cube to the inner cube. Now you think, those aren't cubes. But try to convince yourself that you're just looking at this from a weird perspective, and those are cubes, and all those angles are right angles. Now, our universe is only three dimensions. Is there any theory of physics that suggests that there might be more hidden somewhere? Yes. It's called string theory. String theory describes matter and forces not as zero-dimensional dots called particles, but as one-dimensional objects that we call strings. It's our current best candidate for a theory of everything because it explains matter, forces, and gravity. Unfortunately, at this point, it remains only a candidate because it hasn't made any testable predictions. Other than, you know, gravity exists. If string theory were to work, though, it would need 10 dimensions. 11 if you count time. This is the core of the big problem of string theory, is how can you get a theory with 10 dimensions to give us a universe that has only three? And actually, the problem is not that we don't have an answer, it's that we have 10 to the power of 500 answers. Good luck finding our needle in that haystack. Among those possibilities is something called brain world cosmology, like membrane, not brain brain. To know what that means, we have to talk about P brains, where P stands for the number of dimensions that the membrane is. Particles are zero brains because they are zero dimensions. Strings are one brains. If we have something that's two dimensions, it's a two brain. And then something that is three dimensions is a three brain and so on. Brain world cosmology suggests that our 3D space is a giant three brain. And all the particles of the universe are the ends of strings which vibrate in a 10 dimensional hyperspace. If we could disconnect those ends of the strings from this three brain universe, we could travel through higher dimensions. 
and if our three brain universe is folded up in that hyperspace, or if that hyperspace is curved in the right way, then the paths we'd take through hyperspace could be shorter than the paths we'd take through what we think of as normal space, which is the space contained within our 3D universe. Although the idea of taking a shortcut through 4D space might be relatively simple, actually doing it would be another matter. Humans could not exist in four-dimensional space because that would change the laws of physics. For instance, in our universe, electromagnetism holds atoms together, and it's very important that the electromagnetic force diminishes as the square of the distance from the source. So if we have a charged particle, then the farther we get from that particle, the weaker the electromagnetic force is. Specifically, it decreases as the square of the distance. The reason this is so is because the electric field is created at the charge. So the farther away from the charge, the weaker it gets. It spreads out. If we imagine a sphere that is that distance away from the charge, it spreads out with the surface area of that sphere. The farther it is, the larger the surface area of the sphere that the electric field has had to spread out across. Area is length times length, or length squared. So the concentration of the electric field at this distance depends on the distance squared. In four dimensions, the electric field would have to spread out through the surface volume. Volume is length times length times length, length cubed. So the electric field density would drop off as the distance from the charge cubed. And if that happens, atoms could not exist because electrons could not be bound to the nuclei. And that's only one of the forces. All the other forces and plenty of other things would be messed up too. That isn't to say there would be no matter in a four dimensional space. It would just have fundamentally different properties from the matter in our 3D space. But the question is not, why is hyperspace travel impossible? The question is, how could we get a spaceship to travel through the fourth dimension without disintegrating? At this point, we're going full sci-fi spitballing because we're beyond the frontier of research. But that doesn't mean we can't do some logical world building. So let's theorize. One way to keep the ship from disintegrating would be to have a bubble of 3D space that the ship sets in and have that bubble be transported through hyperspace. Kind of like warp drive in the sense that we have a bubble of space that is around our ship carrying us on our journey. Except that unlike in warp drive, in this bubble, if you look in any direction, you see the back of your ship, the side of your ship, the bottom of your ship. Kind of like living in your own mini universe. As far as I know, nobody has done this calculation. Heck, in fact, it might be plausible within our current theories. And because I don't know, I can't rule out the possibility that it might be doable without exotic matter. Ignorance is bliss. What about propulsion? Our current technologies rely on propellant, which makes us go forward by shooting something out the back and relying on conservation of momentum. But we can't use this for 4D travel because our three-dimensional exhaust wouldn't go into that fourth dimension useless. We might, however, be able to navigate hyperspace with gravity. Because gravity is the fabric of space and time, it exists within all dimensions. So the gravity of the stars and planets and galaxy in our three space would affect motion in hyperspace. And even without four-dimensional propellant, we might be able to use that pull to get us back into our universe when we reach our destination. Or maybe there is 10-dimensional matter in 4D space, and we'll one day figure out how to make technology with it. In that case, we could build higher dimensional ships in hyperspace and attach them to stations in our universe where we could fly our ship into. Then that hyperspace ship would pinch off the bubble of three space so we could keep our ship and its passengers alive. And the higher dimensional ship would carry our ship to its destination. In fact, we might not even have to build these in space. You might be able to walk into a room or a phone booth that's bigger on the inside and when you close the door, that 4D ship pinches off the bubble of three space and then carries that room or resort or whatever across the universe through higher dimensional space. Or if we want to go really sci-fi, we could imagine making four dimensional bodies for ourselves and transferring our consciousness from these bodies into those bodies 
and then flying through the fourth dimension in a body that exists in four dimensions. And then when we reach our destination, we can transfer our consciousness back out of those 4D bodies and into new 3D bodies that have been prepared for us. Some people might just want to live in four dimensions and find jobs and make families and all the stuff that people do just in four dimensions instead of three dimensions. Or we could just store the data of our consciousness until we reach the other side and not even be aware of the journey at all. If you have any ideas related to hyperspace, let me know in the comments and subscribe and hit the bell for more awesome science and sci-fi content, including other methods of faster than light travel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.